What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So as you can tell by the title, today we are going to be talking about what is 100% the most asked question that I get, bar none, every single day, and that is, how do I start losing weight? Now, this question is one that I've answered in a couple videos. You know, I've talked about this before, right? Obviously, it's the most asked question that I get, but I do think that there are things that I've learned over the years since I've made one of these videos that I think are important to keep in mind when you do decide to start losing weight. So that's why I kind of wanted to refilm this video because I wanted to include the things that I've learned over the years. Now, before we answer the question of how do you lose weight, I think it's important to understand what is happening, right? And so I personally believe and I subscribe to the idea of energy balance, or you can even go and say, calories in versus calories out. So I believe that is the main factor in deciding if you are going to be losing weight or gaining weight. And I, I do also want to go and say, when I say weight, basically what I'm talking about is fat, right? Because weight is everything in your body. It could be water. It can be poop. It could be, be anything, right? Fat, skin, everything constitutes your weight. So when I say weight, what I'm really talking about is body fat because that, that's what I'm assuming people are trying to lose when they're asking me this question. Now, the thing that I think so many people get caught up on when it comes to wanting to lose weight is the fact of the matter is losing weight is a very simple equation, right? Um, calories in versus calories out. But just because it's simple does not mean that it's easy. I do want to go into Basically, how do you find out how many calories you should be eating or what would be a good recommendation for you? Because that's one of the things that's very important and is very difficult when people ask me how many calories I should eat because everyone, it's, it's a number that is specific to each person. So I can't sit here and say, you need to eat this many, you need to eat that many. There is a, a way to find out how many calories your body burns in a day, estimated, right? And then you can decide how many calories you wanna eat from there. So what I'm going to do is link this website down in the description, but what I want you to go to if you're trying to figure this out is tdeecalculator.net, not sponsored, but this is how you're going to find out how many calories your body burns in a day. So what TDEE means is total daily energy expenditure. And this has a bunch of different variables that go in and that you'll actually be entering into this calculator that determines how many calories your body needs in a day to basically maintain its weight that it's at right now. So the different variables are right here. So we have age, weight, gender, height, and then your activity level. So I'm going to actually track my TDE right now with you guys. So I am a male, I am 27 years old, 27, I weigh 210 pounds, 210, I am 5'8", I'm a short king for sure. And then currently, normally I used to put athlete, but right now I'm definitely just heavy exercise because I am recovering. Um, and so we're gonna calculate that. And so what it says here is my maintenance calories is 2000 or 3281 calories per day. So that number right there, that is my TDEE. Now, what do you do with that information, right? So what I recommend to people is to usually, if you are trying to lose fat, is to take maybe three to 500 calories off of that number. Now this is where things get a little tricky because everyone is different. And if you are someone that is 400, 500 pounds, your TDEE is going to be very, very high. So you might be able to cut out a little bit more calories, say up to a thousand, because your TDEE might be 5,000 calories or 4,500 calories, right? So that's where it's, it's kind of up to you and you your discretion to decide how many calories you should cut off of that number. Okay, so you've decided, you've tracked your TDE, you've decided you are going to eat at a three to 500 calorie deficit of that number. What does that mean, right? Maybe you've never tracked your calories, maybe you've never tracked your macros. So what I recommend doing is downloading any type of app that will help you count your calories or macros. I personally use MyFitnessPal, but there's tons of different ones out there, but that will help you. And again, this is, when it comes to tracking calories and tracking macros, people get confused and they get frustrated because it's not easy at the start. It is definitely difficult, but I kind of see it as a skill. So when you first start tracking your macros or your calories, it's going to feel very, one, it's gonna feel very annoying <laughs> and it's gonna feel very foreign. And so you just have to kind of get over that hump and start 
getting used to doing it and just just kind of forcing yourself to do it for a little bit. And I'm not saying you need to be tracking for the rest of your life, but at least understand, okay, these foods that I've been eating net to this many calories, is that too much? Is that too little? That's up for you to decide. But if you have no idea how to do it, download an app like that and it really helps a ton. So that's kind of the numbers, right? That is kind of how you get started if that's what you wanna do. Now, if you are maybe either too, a little too intimidated by that at the start, or maybe you don't really wanna focus on, on counting calories, these next few tips I think can be really helpful to add to that or to do if you're just too intimidated by counting calories right now. One of the most important things when you are going into losing weight is to understand that this is not a race, at all. I used to say it's a marathon. Don't even think of it like that. It is a never ending journey. And, and so don't think that you need to do everything right away. Now, something that happened to me all the time when I would try and lose weight is I would try to go from zero to a hundred. So I was eating whatever I wanted, no activity at all. And then I'd be like, okay, I need to eat everything perfectly. And then I need to go to the gym five times a week. And it was just too much at the start. So it's okay to start slow and then slowly build up those habits and learn over time. And then eventually maybe get to where, you know, say get to where I am right now, but you shouldn't feel like you should go from where you are right now to try and get to where whoever, whoever you're watching on Instagram, whatever person that inspires you, you don't need to be them tomorrow, right? You can be them in five or six or 10 years. Years. Now, the next thing that I think can be really helpful, especially if you don't really want to track, is focus on easy wins. Now, what I mean by that is when I first started losing weight, I did what I call the common sense diet. You guys have heard this, but it was cutting out things that were easy, easily, I easily knew, even without any knowledge about nutrition, that these things are not going to help me, right? So for me, it was soda because I was drinking probably over a two liter of, of soda a day, fast food and junk food. So just eating a bunch of chips and stuff like that. So cutting out little things like that was really, really helpful because it was this win that I had, you know, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm not drinking soda. So it was this easy win that I had. And then for me, I mean, that's cutting out anywhere from like 700 to 1200 calories every day just by not drinking soda. The reason that I think it's important to focus on these little easy wins at the start is because I really do believe that if you have, if you focus on these little wins, those little wins stack and stack and stack, and then eventually you start getting more comfortable, you start getting more confident, and then you can tackle a little bit bigger of things, but you have that little, that basically like that foundation of success and those good decisions that you've made, so it makes it easier to maybe want to take the next step forward. Next thing I want to bring up, and this is really important for I think anyone that's losing weight, because something that happens to so many people, myself included actually, at one point, is you end up kind of like playing the calorie game. And what I mean by that is you start to see results by eating lower and lower and lower calories, and then it turns into this type of game. At least that's what happened to me, where it was, well, how low of calories can I eat? If you start noticing yourself slipping into that, I'm serious, like really try to not go there because it is not healthy, it will not lead you down a good path. And from what I've seen with most people that end up playing that game, they might lose a lot of weight really quickly, but they have not learned any lessons over that time. All they know is calories are bad, which isn't true, right? But that's what they're thinking. And so they avoid and avoid and avoid. And eventually you can't avoid calories for the rest of your life. So they end up gaining the weight back because a lot of times people haven't learned healthy habits and sustainable habits while they were doing that. All they learned was calories are bad, I need to avoid calories. And as we know, that's not true. And next, I wanna talk about learning how to forgive yourself. Now, this is a really, really important, I think, like tool to have while you're losing weight. Now, it's important to be able to forgive yourself, but also be honest with yourself, right? Because I think if, if you're really good at forgiving yourself, but you're not honest, like you're just gonna keep forgiving yourself and you're never gonna see any progress. So there has to be a balance there, right? Forgiveness, but also honesty, like, yo, I messed up. What I did there, whatever it might be, ate too many calories, did this, did that, whatever it is. I did that, that was not in my best interest. I should not have done that, but I'm going to forgive myself so I can move on, right? I think it's really important to have both of those and try to balance them as much as you can, because if you have no forgiveness and all you're doing is beating yourself 
beating yourself up, beating yourself up. Eventually you're going to end up being like, screw this. All I am doing is just making myself feel bad. And I, I don't like this. So then you're going to give up there. And then if it's only forgiveness and there's, there's no accountability at all, then you're just never going to really be trying. So it's really important to have that balance of honesty with yourself, but also being able to forgive yourself. But more than anything, again, this video is about starting to lose weight is you have to start. Like if you are focusing so much on all of these other things and you're not even starting, one of my favorite quotes in the entire world is don't let perfect get in the way of good enough. When you're losing weight, you do not have to be perfect, especially if you're losing a gigantic amount of weight. Like when I lost my weight, there was a ton of things I did that were not perfect but they were good enough. I ate a lot of sandwiches when I was first starting to lose weight. There are a ton of people that will say, sandwiches aren't healthy, you shouldn't eat sandwiches, but for me, it was definitely good enough. And I lost my first 80, maybe even 100 pounds eating sandwiches almost every single day, right? Again, not perfect, but it was definitely good enough for me. Before I end the video, I do want to go back to the beginning of the video and talk about TDEE because I do truly think it is so unbelievably important and it is something that is very, very helpful if you have absolutely no idea how many calories to eat. That will help you understand how many calories you should be eating so you're not eating too many, but more importantly, personally for me, so you're not eating too little. So many people go into losing weight and they just cut calories way more drastically than they need to. There is no reason to make this harder than it needs to be. And so I'm telling you, go to the link that I'm gonna put in the description, do what you need to do, enter your information, and from there, whatever number comes up, Make, make sure you cut between three to 500 calories off of that number and start from there. There is no reason to go super low calorie if you don't need to. So I really hope that this video helps you guys out. Hopefully, you know, you guys down in the comment section, if anyone have any, has any questions, I will do my best to answer, but you guys are awesome. You guys are always answering each other's questions down there. All the information that, I'm, that I've said, it will be linked down in the description so you can figure out how many calories you should be eating. And I just, I really hope that this video was able to help you out and give you actionable things to do when you are first trying to start losing, losing weight. Obviously, there are a billion, trillion, quadrillion things that you can do. There are tons of people selling you things. There are tons of different diets that you can do. And I'm not saying none of those work, but this is what worked for me and what has worked for other people in the past using this method. It's not over the top. It's not super. It doesn't, I'm not going to promise 50 pounds of weight loss in a month, but I will promise that if you follow this and you stick to it, you can lose weight in a sustainable way and keep it off over a long period of time. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There was one other thing that I wanted to say. Oh yeah. Look up my fam. <laughs> Obey the warning signs, and when there are flashing lights or wigwags, don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop. Set